Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget spawn actor from class note. So let's go ahead and take a look at this note. Now, first things first, it's going to require the editor scripting utility plugin to be enabled. So make sure that's enabled if you can't find this. Second of all, if we look for spawn, well, we can find a bunch of different spawns. And you actually have a spawn actor from class node already in the game, game inside of our editor. But you notice it's under the game section, and that is important to note. We want the one that is part of our editor scripting level utility right here, spawn actor from class or spawn actor from object. And we're working on the class one. So if it's not working, make sure you're using the spawn actor from class, which is in our editor level library. Now, how does it work? It's really simple. It takes in a class, a location, a rotation, and spits out an actor into your world. So, in this case, I have my utility widget, which is my little ring item right here. And when I click the button, it spawns it at 000. It's literally as simple as that. And you can see it right here. It's named BP underscore utility widget sample. And every time it spawns one in, it just adds their number at the end of it. And it will keep spawning them in as long as I'd like to push the button. Oops, that's the background, not the atom itself. That's it. It's a really simple node. Now, there's something to note about it. It's simply spawning in an actor from a class. So that is important to note. If I want to, for example, do a static mesh actor. Well, that's simple. Static mesh actor. Let me save and compile this. Let me go ahead and delete my other items in here. And we're going to hit spawn actor. And you're not going to see anything. Well, yes. Because all we've done is spawned in a static mesh actor. It's all the default values when you spawn it in from the class. Just like if you're spawning in during your project. So anything specific to this instance inside of our world will not be set unless your default is set inside your class. In this case, our static mesh actor class doesn't specify a mesh. Which is why I created our sample item which you can see here our bp utility because it's already set up with a stack mesh it's already set up with a view and a rotation and orientation that i want so whenever i spawn in from here it spawns in how i would like it so if we go back to our utility and spell it correctly right here our utility widget sample and of course we spawn it in we'll end up with the exact item i want and that's it that is our spawn actor from class node Make sure you have the plugin enabled. Make sure you are using the correct spawn actor from class, the one that tar targets our editor level library. And then you put in your class location rotation, and it spits out something you can work with inside of your scene.